so this is my new travel setup this is also my personal office at my aunt's cabin so i will be working here while i'm at the aunt's cabin and sleeping here partly at least it's quite tiny with three dogs but we've been sleeping here quite comfortably it stays very warm even in on the low setting during the nights i we we've had to turn off the heating and open windows for a bit okay let me show you around a bit the first thing you probably notice is that there is no bathroom in this model However, there is a solution for you to have a toilet with you in this setup, but obviously you can't take any showers. I have a decent sized fridge that works with uh, shore power, 12 volt or with gas. Um, which gives you a lot of options to keep it running wherever you are. It also has a small freezer locker, which is kind of cool. It will be nice to have some ice cream in it while traveling. There is plenty of storage space and here I have my battery, but this space will be freed up when I'm replacing the battery to a bigger one. Then it will be placed underneath one of the benches. Under these glass lids, I have my sink and my two burner gas stove. I love that you can use the space for other purposes when you are not cooking or using the sink. Here I have my mobile hotspot with an extra antenna. I notice it really boosts the connection, so I'm actually really able to work here at my aunt's cabin. It will also be very useful on my travels. The amount of storage base here really blows my mind. This closet currently hides my clothing for this specific trip and my electronics and here's the bench that is hiding my portable toilet. All the windows you can open have inbuilt mosquito nets and all the windows have inbuilt blinds. The door also has a mosquito net, which is great. There are lamps on both sides. And of course in the kitchen. This is the button you use to turn on the battery power. When you're plugged in, we have two 230 volt plugs to use, both here and here. We also have one USB plug up there. There is plenty of storage space at the back too. There is storage underneath the benches and also behind the backrest. Some of the space underneath the backrest can be accessed from outside. The outer side underneath the backrest has my 45 liter water tank in it. I can turn this part of the sofa into a smaller bed which will be fine for myself because I'm not very tall, but you can also drop this table and put these pillows, side pillows on top of it to make a big bed and then drop the backrest. I'm also storing all my bedding behind the backrest. If I need to get it quickly clean, I just can put things behind the backrest and they will be fine there. I hope you enjoyed this tour of my new travel rig and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye bye!